other contentious elements stop before i think we are going to cover a lot more within our next few segments but there are the areas that are not clear or the areas that usually come to courts when it comes to the issues of negligence because we have seen the issues of uh, medical negligence in the past we have seen uh, and those cases are quite difficult to you know the the action is quite difficult but then there are other situations where people expect quicker results where when it say when it comes to the com- when it comes to an issue with a public official so what are the general cases that you witness in the courts yeah, i'll answer first, uh, the last part of your question first yeah. public officials yeah. public officials are not generally affected by the principles of negligence and the concept of negligence in a general sense right but public officials have a duty to perform they are holding office and they are elected to such office yeah. with the assignment of certain duties so if i am holding an office i am expected not to just fill up my seat and sit at the table yeah. but you have to take decisions that, that is one of the biggest problems in sri lanka yeah. because over the last 40 years i have seen a collapse of the civil service i have seen a collapse of the public service exactly. so now it has become a job now if you go to the history of uh, civil service it was identified as a service duty during the british yeah. it was identified as a civil service there were two services civil service and the judicial service right now it has become a job which is a wrong concept so if a public i'm answering your that element that part of the question if yeah. a, if, a, if a public servant is failing to do something if he takes a wrong decision there is a remedy called writ of certiorari right. to quash that decision but if he is not taking a decision <laughs> against public inaction yeah then you can uh, file a writ of mandamus in terms of article 140 and 141 of the constitution you can challenge that now quite apart from that there are negligent situations now if one goes to there are provisions uh, under under certain statutes which identify the duties of public so now there is a act which was part, passed in the 1960s state liability in delict yeah yeah state liability in delict now that state liability in delict that will identify the parameters of the duties and the assignment of functions and the nature of duty expected from public servant yeah. so that is that but quite apart from that one of the two, i i foresee two big problems here now i explain to you the primary objective of civil law is compensation i from here i finish this interview i get on to the road some driver comes and knocks me down now what happens there yeah. two things take place number one uh, as far as i am concerned i have a personal right to sue the driver yeah because the cause of action has accrued to me because he has been negligent then at the same time the driver if he was ex- driving at an excessive speed under the influence of liquor without any due regard to human conduct and other other people using on the road yeah. one way you are driving in the wrong direction then you have committed an offense under the provisions of the motor traffic act also right 149 to 151 sections if there is death if i am killed by that accident on the zebra crossing mm. on the level crossing by just smashing into me onto me there is an offense under section 298 of the penal code uh, for fatal accident what we call a fatal accident right. then there is section 328 which refers to injuries caused to an accident right. one of the biggest problems we leave the criminal side the criminal litigation out you go to civil courts yeah. there is no formula identified with regards to the loss you can claim two types of losses one is called the prospective loss that is called general damages right. general damages are awarded by civil courts for the loss that you have suffered yeah that is loss of a limb all that then there is a second category called general, uh, special damages yeah. that is you have been knocked down you could not go for your job for one year there is loss of salary for one year that is income lost right then expenses incurred you have been hospitalized you have to pay hotel hospital bills likewise so every cause of action where a person can sue another on the basis of negligence you can claim two types of damages yeah one is general one is special but the problem is that would uh, the, the amount of damages would be different we don't have a formula 
Now in England, there is a formula. You lose a limb, there is a minimum. You start with the minimum point. Right. You lose a hand, you start with the minimum point. There is a value given to that. There is a value given to that. Then it depends. Then there is an enhancement of the value. Now say for example, if I am a cricketer, I am 23 years old or 24 years old. I am on the road, somebody knocks me down, I lose my leg and the arm. Right? So, they, so you start with the minimum formula. Then they will attribute the importance of my limb towards my livelihood. Yeah. <laughs> and then enhance damages. So there is no, uh, that is one of the biggest problems because when you litigate in court, it depends on the lawyers on both sides and they litigate, they argue, and then uh, uh, it's a question of survival of the fittest. Right. But if there was a formula, whether I appear for a defendant or somebody else appears, it's easier. Then it is easier and think that is the most prudent thing to be done.